Jimmy! For this video, I thought it would be fun to experiment with a black light and some fluorescent water. Now, water by itself doesn't fluoresce. You have to add a fluorescent substance to make it do that. So for this, I'm going to use the ink from a highlighter pen. You just have to cut the end off carefully because you don't want it to leak out everywhere. Alright. There. Now you can just pour it into the water. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right, so now let's see what it looks like under a black light. Check it out. That's cool. It's glowing. Look at that. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's try this. Whoa. <laughs> Here, I got some more. Wow. Watch this. Oh. It's on my hand. <laughs> Check it out. Watch this. It's <laughs> cool. <laughs> Weird. Watch this, I got a I got an orange one. <laughs> so why does the water glow under a black light? First, let's talk about the black light itself. This light is specially designed with a built-in filter, which allows ultraviolet light to be emitted while blocking most of the visible light. We can't see ultraviolet light, it's invisible. That's because it has a very short wavelength which our eyes can't detect. Visible light, on the other hand, has a longer wavelength that we can see. So when we look at a black light, what we do see is a little bit of visible light escaping through that filter. That's how black lights work, but why do fluorescent materials light up when exposed to them? Well, fluorescent compounds like this liquid are structured in such a way so that when ultraviolet light hits them with its regular short wavelength, it gets absorbed into the material. Then, almost immediately after this absorption, the light gets re-emitted from the liquid, but it has lost some energy and now has a longer wavelength, making it possible for us to see. It's pretty cool how we can't see the light going into the liquid, but we can see it as it's coming back out. Hey, if you want to try this at home, you can actually get the same black light that I'm using here on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below this video. All right, that's it for now. You guys are great. Thanks for sharing these videos, and I love reading all of your comments. Remember, if you have a suggestion for an experiment that you'd like to see me do, let me know, and I'll try to do it on video. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks.